Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Devious Raccoonus. I'm Farrell Algram and uh Sly's really bored. I'm practice some golf swings, I suppose. Anyway, let's uh do whatever. Whoa. Jump. Stupid fucking rodent. Blech. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high-voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Ever the optimist, Bentley. I do schnozzle. Anyway, let's... Wee Go down this thing. To go back up the other thing and look it's a horseshoe. Wow, you and now we charm. have that'll protect you when you take any damage. Yes, I didn't explain this before, you know. But now I have the gold horseshoe, meaning I have a grand total of three hit points. Mm, raccoon, raccoon face. Wait. Jesus. Fuck, where did he get this many pirate ships? I see ships. My heart is congratulations to you all. The storm machine has sunk its fifth ship last night, and the loop has already been unloaded. Our operation is moving along splendidly, with the possible exception being the gross negligence displayed below decks. And I demand the boilers stay at full pressure. So yeah, I totally forgot he starts talking. I didn't mean to get all quiet for that. Only well, sort of partially did, but oh boy, an extra life. Those guards will one hit KO you if they catch you, so you have to sneak up behind them. And sneaking gets a lot, a lot easier. Later in the game and in the other games in the series. Oh boy, two extra lives. You know what's great about those extra lives? Every time you fucking exit the area, they respawn. It's beautiful. Sly, stop glitching on a rock. Cat, stop scratching my bed. Goodness. I have cats in my room again. And uh, there's usually a horseshoe here, but as you can see, we have the sparkly golden one. So we don't really need a horseshoe. Well, there's a guy up there and some levels. And there's really all sorts of levels over here. It's, it's pretty awesome. Gosh, I'm eloquent. Anyway, let's go ahead and take on High Class Heist. Might as well get this underway. Now, as I've warned you... Shut up, I'm trying to tell them that I warned them that I'm going to be breaking fucking everything. But look at this, look at the silly paintings. There's a fucking frog Mona Lisa and frog birth of Venus. Shitloads of Raleigh paintings and busts and stupid shit, and that's why I'm breaking it. That's another famous painting that I can't remember the name of. This is the least inviting museum I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, sir. 
God damn it, laser hands. Okay, you know what? It's not breaking anything. We don't need the coins, actually. Actually, yeah, I kind of want the coins. I'm trying to remember if I get an extra life from getting 100 or not. So fuck your thinker statue. And fuck your laser grids. We Needless dive. Fuck your suit of armor. Fuck your shit sideways, Raleigh. Goodness, we're almost at 100 again. Come on. And this busts up that, and oh boy, here we have super fun laser times. Goddamn laser skull. If I weren't entirely sure it would backfire, I would just jump over these fences. And I gotta forget if you can actually do that on the first run through. These little safes always have clues in them. So always remember to break the saves. You know, they're really, really shitty saves because a metal cane can bust through them. God, this museum would be pretty much worthless. I'm just taking the shit out of it. No idea if I just got a life or not because I stopped paying attention. Anyway, let's just get some fucking clue bottles up in here. Those are motherfucking important. There's some more. God, this is really insightful commentary. I'm so witchy. I'm witty as fuck. Bow before my humor. Whatever. I'm on the ledge. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you douche basket. Let's stop incessantly breaking everything. It's really dumb, oh my god. Walrus. Oh. Belly flops for you. Fuck your signs. Oh boy. Let's get that life first. Nine lives. Woo. I'm going to need all of them because... Failure is undoubtedly going to come very, very soon. Like, right now? Jesus! Fuck. Can you shut up? Well, I've pretty much desolated myself within the span of an episode. That's fun. No. Yeah, that's what happens when you activate an alarm. Oh, shut up, we know. Oh, shut up, we know. But yeah, that's totally what happens. You, you're allowed to trip the alarm once, then it turns angry orange-red, blares, and it becomes a deadly laser. That. Also, if you're in time trial mode, which I will be going over much later, it starts speeding up the trial clock. And my god, how is that? Even flow- oh my god! What it- the- the-, the button? Incorrect button pressing inconvenience of the day. I forgot what button the Banakicom was, and I'm used to Spyro being the first person point of view. That's embarrassing. Anyway, how's that, how's that floating? How, how is the treasure chest floating? This is this is impractical, sir. All of this is. Raleigh's a moron. My god. Raleigh's a moron. Raleigh, Raleigh. I can't. I'm very southern, I say rally. Blech. Let's not swan dive off the fucking ledge. Let's not do an acrobatic fucking flip off the ledge, okay? It's not cool. Let's destroy the alarm. Be on our merry way. And we have the clue bottles, so instead of grabbing the fucking key. We're gonna go down there and I'm gonna take the long way because I'm not gonna risk jumping off on a random point. Hell no. Hell no. So 
Yes, more double flippy jumps across the lily pads. It's been so, so uninteresting for an episode. I'm so ashamed, you guys. I'm so ashamed that I'm so lackluster tonight. Onward to the safe. And if I remember correctly, this is one of my favorite moves. Oh god, what the fuck just landed on me. Dial in four three six. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a bug land on me and it startled me for a second. Now the cats are gonna kill it. But anyway, dramatic flourish and what have we here? Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. Oh my god, yes, my favorite move. And it's really, really silly. But yeah, wouldn't... Like, if you did another level and broke the safe open, you'd still get that move. The moves aren't determined by the level, they're determined by uh, the number of safes you've cracked. So, say you don't crack any saves from here to the second world, which would be weird. You wouldn't get that until the second world. Watch it. It's so cute! <laughs> and it's really, really, really useful for those dang time trial things that I keep fucking talking about or talk about once. And then rambled off into another direction like a moron. Goodness. Let's just get that fucking key and end this off. Because we are running on 12 minutes of nothing. And that's a bit humiliating. Don't roll off the ledge, you dummy. Come on. And... Don't open your binocchi, Tom. Whatever. Anyway, after that embarrassing display, oh look, the lives have respawned. After that embarrassing display, I think I'm gonna call that an episode. So next time on Let's Play Sly Cooper. I think we're gonna do Into the Machine, just because that's the first level I fucking saw. And maybe another level, depending on the amount of subsequent failure that will come from that episode. Anyway, I have ten lives, and I will see you next time. Yes, good. Stop it. Stop. Ugh.